Hey, what's going on, guys? The Horror Man back on the 31 Days of Horror discussing The Hollow. This video is obviously my sleepy Halloween review of the week. The Hollow is a 2004 slasher film, which originally premiered on ABC Family. I remember watching it that night, and enjoying it, but thinking it was a bit tame for my liking. It makes sense, since it was an ABC Family movie. But now, after all these years, I began questioning if I was thinking of the same movie while I was watching this DVD. There was no way this could be that same family-friendly film. Not with all the violence, language, and sex. It turns out, after a little research, The Hollow was heavily edited on its premiere night. The back of this DVD even states it's rated R for scary images and sexuality. No nipples on ABC Family. Just on disc. The Hollow is set in the town of Sleepy Hollow around Halloween. Ironically, it was actually filmed in May and June of 2003. That fact is actually impressive to me, because The Hollow has a really good Halloween atmosphere. It absolutely looks like fall. It could have fooled me. There are leaves all around, and lots of pumpkins, although I read many of them were artificial, since they were out of season. Kevin Zeggers plays Ian Cranston, the new kid in town. Kaylee Cuoco plays popular high school cheerleader Karen. And Nick Carter of the Backstreet Boys plays jerky jock Brody. Judge Reinhold plays Ian's father. And Stacy Keach plays local gravekeeper Claus. When Ian arrives in town, vines grow from Washington Irving's grave. For those of you who don't know, Washington Irving was the author of The Legend of Sleepy Hollow. This causes Gravekeeper Claus great concern. He believes Ian to be the youngest descendant of Ichabod Crane. And with a crane back in Sleepy Hollow, the Headless Horseman will ride again. As Ian and Karen begin a relationship, Claus tries to warn them of their inevitable fate. The Headless Horseman will come for Ian's head and kill anyone in his path. One by one, people in town are beheaded from a sword, wielded by someone riding a horse with a jack-o'-lantern for a head. But despite this and warnings from Claus, the annual Halloween traditions must commence. That includes the Haunted Hayride, and this year Ian is the host. The high schoolers do what they do. They play Halloween pranks, dress up in costumes, and have sex. And in the hollow, they also lose their heads. Speaking of which, there is one scene in particular that gives a whole new meaning to the term giving head. I really love the setting in this. Like I said, the town looks ready for Halloween despite having been filmed in May and June. There's a scene at the beginning of the film when Ian is telling the legend of Sleepy Hollow to the locals. The area around him is all decorated. This scene reminded me of the scene in Hocus Pocus, when the teacher is telling the students the story of the Sanderson sisters. It sort of had that same feel to it. I really like the cast. Kevin Zeggers is cool as Ian Cranston, and Kaylee Cuoco is super cute as Karen. Nick Carter isn't bad as Brody either. Stacy Keach is great as Claus, and I've always been a fan of Judge Reinhold. A good chunk of the movie takes place during the Haunted Hayride, which is super cool. So that makes The Hollow not only a Halloween slasher, but a Halloween haunt slasher film. The kills are pretty gruesome for a movie that was meant to be made for television. I wonder how much was actually cut for that premiere. The Headless Horseman looks awesome. It's always nice to get a good slasher sex scene, and we do in this. And this movie really sets the mood for Halloween. 
I also love that at one point, Ian mentions wanting to tape a John Carpenter marathon on TV. He tells his mom he set up the VCR to do so. Man, I miss those days. I'm sure a lot of you do. The Hollow is ridiculously fun. I loved it so much more than I remember enjoying it. Again, that's probably due to the fact that I remember it being heavily edited. Watching it on DVD was a whole new experience, and this is a great mid-2000s slasher. Have you seen The Hollow? If so, what do you think of it? Comment below and let me know. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit that thumbs up and be kind, subscribe.